When it comes to the Unlimited Love and Return of the Dream Canteen eras and tour, one of the biggest changes we saw with John Frusciante's rig for this new stint with the band was the addition of the Marshall JMP 2203, a 100-watt amplifier from the 70s. Now, this was really interesting because, of course, John Frusciante's amp rig, the last time we had seen him with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, consisted of two Marshall Silver Jubilees and the Marshall Major. Of course, one of those Silver Jubilees was used in the Slash Rig format with the Les Paul perform songs like Ready Made. Now, there are new details with this amplifier that have come out in terms of his rig's context, and I've really just begun to theorize and subscribe to the theory that this amplifier might be his new favorite one. So let's get into today's video and break down some John Frusciante content, which I know you guys, uh, if you're a fan of this channel and follow my channel, a lot of you guys have been waiting for more Frusciante content, so... Here you guys go. When it comes to John's current amp rig, we have to acknowledge that the addition of the 2203 JMP has really changed our understanding of how his amp rig normally work. Because of course, during his last stint with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, the two Silver Jubilees were on stage with that Marshall Major, but we knew that majority of the time, the tone we were hearing is from the combination of the Marshall Major and the main Silver Jubilee. But now with three distinct amps on stage, it's way more difficult to actually tell what is going on in terms of the amplifiers and what John is running. Now, I've heard rumors from fairly decent sources that sometimes, especially in the early days of the tour, John was really experimenting with amplifiers and running, for example, two majors on for one show using the major on stage and the backup major as kind of the majority of the sounds for a night. Don't quote me on that, but that's just something I'd kind of heard being discussed and thrown out there at the start of the tour from some people who would have a better understanding of what might be going on than a lot of the people out there online who are talking, but this is not directly from anyone in John's camp or anything like that. Now, that all said, the addition of these three amplifiers and the way it's run on this tour is very interesting. Now, when we look at some of the promotional things that John did for the Unlimited Love era, especially off the very first album, look at something like their shows on Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon performing with Howard Stern, the amp setup that John used was a two amp setup. Now, of course, you would normally expect this amp rig to consist of the Silver Jubilee and the Marshall Major. However, that's not the case. What we actually saw was the JMP 2203 and the Marshall Major. Then in the rack unit for backup amplifiers, you'd see a Marshall Major as a second amp for that backup, and then the Silver Jubilee placed in there instead of being actually used on stage. Now, this is where I kind of started to have the theory that the JMP 2203 had almost replaced the Silver Jubilee in a way because, again, when John was running majority of the, the time in the old days, like Stadium Arcadium era, for example, he was running two amplifiers and it was the Silver Jubilee and the Major. So essentially him running two amplifiers for shows like that and performances that are smaller, why wouldn't he run the Silver Jubilee and the Major if that was kind of like his old sound? But now it's transitioned to the JMP 2203 and the Marshall Major. So... The Jubilee not being used as much is very interesting. Then, of course, when the tour actually kicked off, we saw the addition of the Silver Jubilee, which was, um, I'm sure, a point of great relief for a lot of John Frusciante fans to see that amplifier returning. But that JMP 2203 has consistently been used. And one detail I want to share with you guys that's now come out is that the Silver Jubilee that was in the rack unit as a backup amplifier has actually been replaced by a second JMP 2203 meaning that John's only really touring in his rig with one Silver Jubilee. If any amp goes down, he has a backup for the Major and the 2203, not the Silver Jubilee. Now, that in and of itself is a really great indicator that the 2203 is really serving a larger role in the context of John's rig than maybe a lot of people first initially thought. I truly believe that seeing a backup of that amplifier in the rack unit now that really means that this amplifier is kind of key to his current sound. It's playing a larger role than a lot of us first thought. And then if we tie in the small show the Red Hot Chili Peppers performed at the Silver Lake Conservatory at the end of October of last year, 2022, again, John brought out a smaller amp rig, and again, it was the combination of the Marshall Major as well as the 2203 JMP amplifier. So we've seen from the start of the Limb to Love era, then you know, fairly far into the tour and this era, of course, with the release of the second album as well. Again, for a smaller show, 
John relied on the amp combination of the 2203 and the Marshall Major, not the Silver Jubilee. So another instance of that 2203 amplifier kind of taking over that secondary amp slot in combination with the Marshall Major. And what's also key here you guys keep in mind is that the Marshall Major is the one constant. And I remember kind of discussing this with a few different people and essentially the Marshall Major I do believe is the main component to John's sound. I think that one amplifier alone is very key. Even if we look at Josh Klinghoffer's stint with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, he also used a Marshall Major. And I don't think that was pure coincidence that that one amplifier did kind of stick around during the Josh era a little bit as well. Just the sound of that amplifier alone being such a key component to the Red Hot Chili Peppers guitar sound as a whole. But I'll probably save a deep dive into the Marshall Major and an overall discussion on that amplifier for a future video. So hey, if you're enjoying this video so far and sticking around to this point, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It lets me know, number one, I'm doing a good job. And if you hit that bell button when you hit subscribe, you'll be notified when future John Frusciante videos come out on the channel as well. And it's always greatly appreciated. But I think you guys get where I'm going with this. We've seen on the tour, the JMP 2203 being used to start off the era before the main amp rig was kind of decided or fleshed out, I guess. And then for any small performance where John's using two amplifiers, because I could never see for Shante using just one amplifier. It's kind of like the mirror thing as well, where two amplifiers together really create that sound and add just a lot more depth than one single amplifier. So that formula is the same for both Johns, but when it comes to Frusciante, talking about the Marshall Major and now the 2203, that's kind of his new base go-to amp combination. He's not going to perform with anything but at least those two amplifiers is what it seems to me. Now I know what some of you guys are probably thinking at this point. Well, is the Silver Jubilee really that important in John's rig anymore? And it's really difficult to say. It's obviously still there for a reason. If you look at when in the kind of end of summer of last year when John Frusciante was having some rig problems and he went into Californication in Detroit, Henry actually plugged his rig straight into the Silver Jubilee that was on stage. And number one, John sounded absolutely fantastic. But number two, he specifically chose that amplifier to use for John to play out of while they were troubleshooting the rest of his rig. He was only running through one amplifier at that time, just essentially right into that Silver Jubilee, and I'm not sure exactly what pedals were patched in as well, if the whole board was patched in or not, but we know it was one amplifier at least being used at that point. So the fact that Henry purposefully chose the Silver Jubilee does mean something in terms of the importance of that amplifier. Of course, knowing John's history as well, that amplifier is incredibly important to his sound, and I know a lot of people do still prefer the sound of perhaps the Stadium Arcadium era, and that amplifier is massively important. But I definitely think that its role as kind of the second main amplifier on stage and what you hear, I definitely think it's starting to take a backseat to that 2203 JMP, especially because now there's a second amplifier of that in the rig in terms of a backup. There's no backup for the Silver Jubilee, at least that we know of. I'm sure he's probably got one backstage somewhere where if it went down, maybe Henry would run out on stage and replace the heads while John was just running the 2203 and the major together. Who knows? I'm just trying to think of scenarios in my head of how they could run that, and that's the only way that it kind of makes sense to me. But it definitely seems like, okay, we have backup amplifiers of those two amps. That to me is almost indicating that those are the two most important amplifiers that John needs to have running. Now, this also could mean that maybe John's running kind of a system like he did in the past where through his pedal board, the amps now, or sorry, the pedals now go through an amp switching system, which we know we can see that John has um, behind the amplifiers with the rack unit. And when he's playing songs like Californication or he's bringing out perhaps the Gretsch White Falcon, he's going back to using a Silver Jubilee just for those songs. But for the majority of the night, maybe we're just hearing that 2203 JMP and the Marshall Major, like when he performs those smaller shows maybe that's actually what is going on as well. So in their mind, that's the amp rig you're hearing 95% of the night. We need backups for those amplifiers. If the Silver Jubilee does go down, it's not that big of a, of a deal because it's only being used a small amount of the time. These are all just different theories I'm throwing out there for you guys to encourage some discussion in the comments down below. 
Because again, another theory I almost had is, is that maybe John's just running all three amplifiers together. That would be one hell of a sound, and it's very possible that that's what's going on as well. I don't know for sure what's going on. If anyone in John's camp is watching this video and knows what's going on, please let me know in the comments down below because that would be fantastic because I'm extremely curious as to what his amp rig is like now and the exact details of how it's being ran and what we're hearing on a nightly basis when it comes to the tour. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I just really wanted to discuss the 2203 from seeing this awesome shot of the rack unit and the backup amplifiers behind the main amp like unit on stage. Just made me think, okay, more essentially, essentially evidence that the 2203 really is an amplifier that John is currently loving and hopefully we get to see it more in future tours because I love the amplifier, I have one. It's a great sounding amplifier and it just was really funny when the very first Red Hot Chili Pepper shows happened and I was looking at John's amp rig thinking, wait, is he using one of those amplifiers just like the one I have in my basement? No way kind of deal and I just thought it was awesome. And it was hilarious that I'd been after an old uh, 100 watt Silver Jubilee for so long and then here goes John Frusciante and using one of these amplifiers. It was just a, it was a pretty funny moment and kind of, it was a bit of justification, I guess, in my love for this amplifier and how great I think it sounds. So that if John's picking it and using it, his ears are obviously way better than mine. So it just kind of made me feel good that it's an amplifier that I really do love and to see him using it was like, okay, yeah, you know, I'm not wrong in saying that it's a great amplifier and it's a great sounding Marshall and what I used to kind of jam on Chili Pepper stuff with in the past. And I thought it always sounded great for that sort of thing. So I'm definitely not wrong in thinking that way. So you guys, if there's any other John Frusciante content you want to see on the channel, please let me know in the comments down below. A uh, sneak peek for you guys if you stuck to, with me till the end of this video here. We're going to be discussing something with the Marshall Major that was on stage, I believe for the Mexico show. It was where it actually was off. And it's an image that's kind of circulating online. It's been sent to me by a few people. And they're like, well, why is the Major, why is the standby on? during the set. So I have essentially a theory and I think some evidence as to what is going on. So that's gonna be another upcoming video discussing Frusciante's amp rig and kind of some more context, I guess, and how the amp system works overall and how backup amps work. So stay tuned for that video coming out on the channel. But as always, if you stuck with me till the end and till this point, thank you so much. You're awesome. I really appreciate you. And until the next one, you guys take care. We'll see you soon. Anyway, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like what you see.